Former President Donald Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance, will be on the campaign trail on Saturday when they host a rally in Atlanta. It will be the duo's first rally together after Vice President Kamala Harris secured enough delegates at the DNC virtual roll call to become the Democratic nominee for president. Harris spoke to supporters on Friday. We are in this. We are on the road. And, um, you know, it's not going to be easy, but we're going we're gonna to get this done. And um, as your future president, I know we are up to this fight. And when we fight, everyone will say in unison, we win. CBS News senior White House correspondent Weijia Jiang joins us now. Weijia, let's jump into the biggest question in the horse race when she says, when we fight, who is we? Who will be Kamala Harris's choice to be VP? What are you learning? Oh, and I wish I could answer that for you. <laughs> but right now, she is still in the process of deciding. And remember, this is, uh, you know, a, a person who's not even the official Democratic nominee for president, even though she has secured the number of delegates required to be that. They still have until Monday at 6 p.m. to vote, the delegates, that is. And until that happens, uh, you know, she is not officially the nominee. And so I say that because, you know, typically, whoever it would be, would be well on their way, would have a lot of time to think about this very question. And this has all been condensed for Vice President Harris because her time as nominee is very condensed given the way this all played out. But we do know that her team has been vetting six uh, candidates who seem to be on that shortlist, that upper tier. That's not to say there aren't more than six people in the running. But as we have been reporting, we know that list includes uh, Secretary of uh, Transportation Pete Buttigieg and several Democratic governors, including J.B. Pritzker of Illinois, Andy Bashir of Kentucky, of course, Josh Shapiro of Pennsylvania, Mark Kelly of Arizona. And so, you know, she's in the process of looking through all the information that she has on these candidates. And she will conduct formal interviews with them at some point as well. But her team being very tight-lipped about exactly when that is, uh, how that will happen, whether it will be in person, via Zoom, on phone calls. Because remember, you know, she's been traveling this week. In fact, uh, I was with her when she traveled to Houston, Texas, and stayed the night there for a variety of events. And she did not have a lot of extra time built in her, into her schedule, Lana. So this is going to be a very quick decision that she has to make. And we expect that we'll know um, sometime early next week, because then she is crisscrossing the entire country with her running mate, trying to capitalize on that energy that will uh, no doubt come out of the big announcement. She'll be following her gut, we're told, as well as, uh, of course, listening to advisors and their opinions. And on that, I want to ask you about one potential advisor, David Pluff, a former senior advisor to the Obama campaign, a big name in Democratic circles. It seems that he will be joining the Harris campaign. What have you learned? That's right. The Harris campaign has actually hired um, a string of former Obama officials, Obama campaign officials as well, to help bolster the already uh, incredible effort that she has because she, you know, uh, she inherited the Joe Biden campaign. And she is retaining all of the senior leadership for his campaign, including the campaign chair, Jen O'Malley Dillon, as well as the campaign manager. Um, however, she has brought on uh, David Plouffe, among several others. Now, he, as you mentioned, is the most high profile because in 2008, he was uh, the former president's campaign manager. And then he came with President Obama here to the White House to be a senior advisor. And then in 2012, also played a role in his reelection campaign. So he knows how to win campaigns. And that's why it's so significant that he is now helping Vice President Harris in her effort to take over here at the White House. All right. Weijia Jiang, thank you. Sure.